It's been a while since the days of unrestricted travel freedoms and many of us may be wistfully dreaming of the time that we'll get to fly off wherever we want or sail the open seas on a luxury cruise ship. Now, I've never been in one of those fancy floating hotels, but my guest today has sailed on a floating hospital. Sharon Walls of Mercy Ships, Hi. thanks for joining me. Thanks, Davina. Now, you've recently launched a new ship, the Global Mercy. Tell us about that. How momentous is it? It's very exciting. The Lord has provided the most incredible opportunity for us. It's taken a few years of praying and building and working, but uh, just in the next few weeks, our new sh vessel, the Global Mercy, yeah. is going to join our existing hospital ship and uh, is going to be sailing for the first time on the open seas. That's incredible. Now, I understand it's the first purpose-built civilian hospital ship. That's right. It's yeah. uh, it's There are um, government yeah. hospital ships, there are military hospital yeah. ships, but for the people of God to come together yeah. and have a vision to impact the developing nations by bringing health care and to actually see it happen, it's like, wow, God did it. It's Amazing. incredible. Amazing. So with the Africa Mercy and the Global Mercy, you'll have two ships in service. That's right. What's that going to mean for the communities you serve? Well, I think all of us have been impacted by COVID-19. I mean, here in New Zealand, I think everybody knows somebody whose surgery was delayed. Mm. But can you imagine being in a nation where there wasn't really access to surgery in the first place? So what was already extreme need has become astronomical. Mm. And so God's timing is just amazing because the, the global need for surgery is, is astronomical. Mm. And this is the perfect time for us to be able to increase our capacity to provide to be God's hands and feet in the midst of you know, a lot of need. A pandemic, a huge pandemic. Now, what challenges has COVID posed for Mercy Ships operationally, staffing mm. wise? Well, because it's a contagious situation, yeah. we can't actually take a hospital ship into a contagious environment. So when the pandemic broke out last year, we withdrew um, from field service and relocated to the Canary Islands where we have been focusing on providing um, e-learning mm -hmm. and distance education for the nations that we've been serving. So the healthcare populations in places like Senegal and Guinea and Liberia are really struggling and people are discouraged and so it's been amazing to be able to provide some much needed support and education and mentoring using this technology that somehow the world has grasped hold of and it's one of the good things that's happened out yeah. of COVID, yeah. So we've had a few people located within the countries that are carrying on the, um, the mentoring programs, mm. especially in Guinea in our dental work. So yeah, it's been about pivoting in that area. It's been about doing some work on board the ships to make, um, well, the Africa Mercy particularly, to make it more conducive to social distancing and putting some lots and lots of systems and processes in place to keep not only our patients safe, but our crew safe as well. Absolutely mm. critical, yeah. And your outreach, your reach is global. What are some of Mercy Ship's needs at the moment? Well, you know, there's that fabulous Māori proverb that says, uh, what's the most important thing in the world? It's people, people, people. He tangata, he tangata, he tangata. Exactly, yes. and uh, that would be absolutely resonates with us that um, we really need people to, to step up. I mean, it takes, well, the, the Africa Mercy has 460 crew. The new vessel has 600 crew. So in order for us to be able to provide double the healthcare services, double the surgeries, double the medical capacity building, we do double the number of people. Absolutely, so, especially with social distancing on board the ships yeah. for COVID protocols. And I understand that Kiwis are a huge backbone of your volunteer crew. What are you looking for in your volunteers? Well, we are looking for people who really have a sense that they can use what they have in their hand. I always think about what God said to Moses. What do you have in your hand? And he's gone, I had this staff and he uses to... Um, you know, part the waters yeah. and do all the things with it. And I think, well, that's what God has placed in our hands. He's given us all skills and abilities. And so tradies, it's not, it's, I think when people look at hospital ships, they think medical, mm. but only half our crew are medical. So yes, the tradies and the chefs and the yes. IT people and 
um, so many, so many different roles that people can play a part in the big picture, even though they may not be the surgeon with a scalpel in mm -hmm. their hand, there's a very strong value on board that the person who's sweeping the floor has as equally an important role on board as the operating theatre nurse because it takes the whole fun out to make it happen. So. Absolutely. And in terms of temperament? Mm. Well, you know, I love the whole Kiwi number eight wire yeah. can do mentality. You know, New Zealand is a very well respected on board because even in a crisis, people tend to have a bit of a good humour about things. And so um, people who are willing to step into something different mm -hmm. uh, aren't afraid of hard work, mm -hmm. um, but are really, you know, keen to do something that's, that's different, that makes a difference. All right, so you're looking not for lazy people, <laughs> <laughs> but people also hopefully who don't have much motion sickness. Well, you yeah. know, we only sail twice a year. Okay. I get terribly oh, seasick, right. really, really oh, badly. Okay. So um, it doesn't actually matter if you get seasick okay. because during field service, we're yeah. in one spot for 10 months Anchored. time. Right, okay, yeah. so don't write yourself off if you get seasick. If you <laughs> are interested in finding out how to support Mercy Ships, or becoming a volunteer, visit mercyships.org.nz. Thank you so much, Sharon.